Welcome to the Spine Boarding Instruction Manual. Spine boarding is an important process in the injury evaluation. Improper execution can lead to worsening of the injury. The three main techniques to spine boarding are face up log roll, which is what is featured in this instruction, face down log roll, which plays a big role with hand placement, and the lift and slide, which requires more people to perform. You come across an injured athlete laying on the field, whatever shall you do? First things first, check the scene for safety to make sure there's no danger to yourself. The most important step is stabilizing the head just below the occiput bone of the skull to make sure there's no further neck movement. The next step is sending the person for the spine board in AED in case the person were to go unconscious and require CPR. The biggest step in the entire process is calling 911. Bring the spine board back and recruit help. This could come from other athletic training students, coaches, or bystanders that have training or can be instructed. Align the body so that the arms and legs are straight and undo the straps of the spine board. Next, line the spine board up right next to the body and prepare your help. An often overlooked but important task is assigning the duties of the team. One person at the shoulders, one person at the hip, and sometimes one person at the feet while the other person is still at the spine board and head. It is important to lift the body in unison as to not twist the body. So the person at the head will count to three and you lift the body up on its side, keeping sure to stabilize the head. Next, have the spine board meet the body at the top to prepare to bring it down on top of the spine board. The same count will apply on the down, so on one, two, three, you'll bring the body down onto the spine board. Most times the body will not come down perfectly onto the spine board, so a maneuver called a V-slide will be used in which the person at the head will count to three, you slide down, and then you will slide back up on three in a V maneuver to align the body better on the spine board. Make sure the hands are to the side so that when the straps are put on that the hands will not fall out. Making sure to continue to hold the head stable Place the foam blocks snugly around the head. Fasten all straps, one above the forehead, one around the chin, one around the chest, one around the waist, and one around the legs, making sure the body stays put and that the person is still able to breathe. Check your straps at the end and monitor the patient while awaiting for EMT to arrive to transport the patient to the hospital.